Hello and welcome to another Math with Miss V. We are looking at unit rate today and in this video we will define unit rate and learn how to find it. So what is a unit rate? A unit rate is defined as a ratio that has a denominator of one. So um, anything over one. Different ways unit rate is presented as price per ounce. You could be price per pound, price per liter, miles per hour, dollars per hour, anything per one. The big thing about unit rate though is we generally are working in two different types of units. Uh, price per ounce, that's money and weight. Miles per hour, that's distance and time. Dollars per hour, that's money and time. So we generally have two different types of units. So let's look at a few examples. So unit rate is per one. We want one in the denominator. So sometimes you can look and see it's easy to just divide. So 12 over six, well, we want one in the denominator. So what? how do we turn a six into a one? And that's to divide by six. 12 divided by six is two. So the unit rate for this is one over two. 75 over 25. We're looking for a denominator of one. We would divide 25 by 25 to get one. So 75 divided by 25 gives us three. Okay, so let's look at a few more examples that are actually defining what our numbers represent. So our next one, I traveled 310 miles in five hours. What is my unit rate? Okay, so we're looking for miles per hours. So 310 miles in five hours. We want to know the unit rate, the miles per one hour. So divide by five. Five divided by five is one. Divide by five. Five will go into 310, 32 times. So my unit rate is I traveled 32 miles in one hour. No, nope, not 32. I apologize. Always be careful with what you're doing. Five goes into 36 times. I traveled 62 miles in one hour. It just goes to show you even math teachers make mistakes. Okay, my next one, I paid 585 for nine pounds of potatoes. I wanna find the unit rate. What's the cost of one pound of potatoes? So 585 in my numerator, nine in my denominator. We're looking for how much one pound cost. Nine divided by nine would give me one. So I'll take my 585 and divide it by nine. This time to make sure we don't make any mistakes, I'm gonna write out my work. 85 and zero for decimal point. We'll go six times and give me a 54. Four, bring down my five. Nine will go into five. 45 five times and get a 45 and that would be zero. So one pound of potatoes is 65 cents. Okay, let's look at um, a more defined word problem to find unit rate. So Mike put 12.2 gallons of gas in his car. The trip odometer read 400 miles. What was his unit rate? So with this, it doesn't tell us, but we generally look for miles per gallon is what you wanna know when you wanna know your unit rate for your car. So 400 over 12.2. So we wanna find the unit rate, the number of gallons or the number of miles he can travel on one gallon. So I'm gonna divide by 12.2 and divide by 12.2. And actually I'm breaking out my calculator for this one. So 400, 12.2. So I got a very long decimal, but I'm going to round to one decimal place. So I got 32.78, but the eight tells me to round up. So I went 30, about 32.8 miles to the gallon. Great, last one, Sally's paycheck was for 
$1,080 for working 32 hours. What is her hourly rate? So our hourly rate tells us we want our units of hours. So we're gonna put 1080 over 32 equals something over one hour. So we need to divide by 32, divide by 32. So 1080 divided by 32, she makes 33.75 an hour. Not a bad rate. So that is how you solve unit rate. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you in the future.